A film in three minutes. Die Hard 2, Die Harder. It's that time of year again, folks, where season's greetings and Christmas cheer warm our hearts and remind us all just how special and joyous a time the festive season is. And what film could do a better job of capturing this magical, precious period than Die Hard 2, Die Harder? Featuring, once again, everyone's favourite, lovable New York rap scallion. In a family film that's filled to the brim with messages of love, kindness and respect for for our fellow man <laughs> and woman. The story once more follows the adventures of John McClane, played by Bruce Willis, who instead of spreading the message of our Lord and Saviour Jesus Christ to terrorists in a skyscraper, is this time spreading the message of our Lord and Saviour Jesus Christ to terrorists in an airport, who are attempting to liberate a barbarian heathen named General Esperanza and deny McClane from serving the Lord's true justice to him. But boy does he try. Die Hard Two continues the clever metaphor for how McLean is a Christ-like figure and gives it several other New Testament spins, showing McLean walking on frozen water, healing the sick, and of course, kicking a man in the face and watching him fall into the spinning turbine of a jet engine. These moments pay tributes to the work of our Lord and remind us of just how gentle McLean is as a Hollywood icon. But just like Jesus himself, McLean is not alone, and is joined by fellow disciples in spreading his goodwill to all mankind with bombastic aplomb. <laughs> And just like Jesus himself, he always turns over the other cheek and never raises a fist in anger at anyone. His behaviour always appeals to the better angels on our shoulders and reminds us of that old maxim, when in doubt and low on cheer, crawl inside a ventilation duct and fire hot lead on someone down below. <laughs> Works every time. Although for some, Die Hard 2 could never live up to the classic Christmas film that is Die Hard, I think this sequel is actually even more in keeping with the festive spirit. From beautiful light decorations, people arguing, delayed flights and playing plenty of human misery to go around, one cannot deny the accuracy director Rennie Harlan has achieved in capturing the holiday for all of us to enjoy. So if you're looking for a family film to brighten your soul this Christmas and remind you what the holiday is all about, then look no further than Die Hard 2, Die Harder. I'm sure Jesus, <laughs> sorry I meant John McClane, will appreciate it.